Hello there everyone, it's Nick Nevin, the Witch of Seacliff, and I'm down at the Atlantic Ocean, and I'm here and I'm going to do some ritual with some items I've created, uh, ritual items I've created that will be going up on my website. Let me show you two of them. There's one, it's a rattle. And the other one is, this has a story to it. It might look very odd. <laughs> There's an indigenous person with a turtle shell and some rattles. These are both rattles. hear it very well. <laughs> They're quiet rattles, but this one's a rattle as well. So I will be doing a ritual here at sunset. Um, I'm collecting things because I'm going to be making, sorry about my finger, I'm going to be making some spirit boxes of um, these curios and this will be in one box, this will be in an another box and they'll come with other things. I guess I should show the, the other things but I didn't bring everything with me, but they have, um, they'll have, you know, the Witch Sea Cliff items in them. I'm not going to tell you what they are because, um, I don't want the copycats. <laughs> I don't want to give away what I'm doing. Uh, what I will tell you, I will show you all the ritual items, all the items that you'll receive in a video soon but I have to I have to do the rituals I have to keep them uh, I have to talk to the spirits and I have some um, really good uh, I have some really good things that I've made that I think you'll enjoy but I have to make a separate video on each one and what they're they're about. I collected some ocean water there and I collected some sand because it's very potent to use uh, products from this land with these um, ritual items. So what I was going to just talk about briefly here tonight is just about this piece here. This is the Sky Mother. Now um, I have um, Native people in my family heritage, and so I've heard of, there's many creation stories, and one creation story is about, you know, what we call America. The indigenous people here never called it America, they called it Turtle Island. So here is... Uh, the Sky Mother, she has a tortoise, uh, turtle shell, and she has rattles, natural rattles, and she is on some cedar wood, and she has a cape, she has blue, blue beads for her communication, and she has red beads at the root chakra for safety, but it also represents, um, represents the blood that was shed that this country was stolen from these first nation tribes that lived here. And I have that in my heritage. And 
So this is a rattle, but it's a ritual item. The head is an antique doll. It's a real turtle shell and the beads and real, you know, rattles and real wood. So the story of Turtle Island, which is now called the US or America, the, the, one of the stories, there's many indigenous stories of um, the creation myths, there's many. But one I've heard, and um, one I've heard often was, this was called Turtle Island, and it was because there was originally um, the first people were they were in another land, like another, they were on another land in the sky. They had their own, nobody lived, I mean, nobody died there. Everything was harmonious there. And it was this like planet in the sky. And the sky mother and sky father, sky mother found out she was pregnant with twins. And the sky father got angry and there was one tree on this planet that gave light to their world and he tore apart the tree of light and it created a huge hole in their world and the sky uh, mother could look she looked into the hole and she could see the earth through this hole in their world and she could see the water and the land there and she was looking over at it and the sky father pushed her in and she went down but luckily the animals of the earth saw her falling and two birds caught her and they saved her landing on to our earth but <clears throat> She needed help and she couldn't just live in the water. And so the animals came to protect her and they didn't know how, but they were, they were trying to get mud to create a land for her. And then uh, a frog came out of the water with mud in his mouth. And so all the animals started taking the mud and they built an island for her so she could crawl upon and live. So the Sky Mother lived as the first person on Turtle Island, which is now known as the USA America. And so that is the indigenous, one of the indigenous um, creation stories, which I found very interesting. And so I created this rattle just for the story. And she's being spirited, enchanted with everything from this land and from me and from my grandmother's stories. And so I hope you enjoyed that little story. I know um, if you're from another uh, tribe, You'll have your own creation stories, there's many, but that's just one of them. And I wanted to make a piece to represent this story. And I wanna offer my, you know, these are handmade pieces and most of the items are nature-based and they will help you in taking your witchcraft, if you're like me and you're a witch, and you might have some shamanic inkling, or you may be part um, indigenous. You may want one of these items to help you to take your witchcraft to the next level. So what I'm planning to do is to sell these in a box with, you know, a lot of other things, some oils and herbs and things, some natural products. It depends, each box will be different each item will be different. They're just one of a kind. I'm not going to be making um, the same thing over and over again. So I just wanted to give you a glimpse 
of what's coming up on my channel, what I've been working on. I have a lot more uh, things I've created, but they all need time to have the ritual. Each separately have their own ritual and the enchantments. And I believe that if you're like me and you've been a witch or you're a beginner witch and you know, you're, you've kind of read all the books and they're usually um, very much 101 books. Even if they're a little more advanced, they always give you sort of the 101 witchcraft that you've heard over and over and you know all about candle magic. And I have hundreds of videos on my channel you can look at how to do candle magic and other magics. But if you want to take your witchcraft, your magic, to the next level, I'm going to be creating these um, enchanted items, these spirited items. And I will give you a video, a private video, with what comes in the box. Um, I'll tell you the story of why I created this and what they're used for, how you can use it in taking your witchcraft to the next level. And if you've been having problems, like your witchcraft is not working, I'm going to tell you exactly how to get your witchcraft working in these videos. And I will be releasing some of the videos to the um, that you can purchase on your own even if you don't wish to buy the products you can make your own and just purchase the video so i'm going to have some of these exclusive videos if you would like to um, understand um, and take your your magic to a higher and um, uh, just in a more intense more passionate level than you've been and you're not going to get that in any book because most witches don't give away their secrets I won't be doing spell work for people anymore I, I'll do a few for my um, you know clients that I've worked with but um, I'm not the reason I'm doing this now I want to change my channel a little bit and I just want to grow Personally, as an artist, as a witch, I want to grow and I'd like to pass on my knowledge, but I don't want to put everything I do, my, you know, my personal rituals out on YouTube, but I will make them on private videos, you know, and I'll teach you the secrets of um, magic that I know. And, you know, I'm a mixed breed. So I come from different cultures, but I've learned a lot of uh, magic from other cultures and I've tried a lot of different things from other cultures and uh, I believe you can learn a lot um, with these um, spiritual boxes that I'll be presenting on my channel. And yeah, you can look forward to seeing more you know, once I get all the products together to go with them and I do the rituals for them so that you can have a really um, great experience with my products and with the videos and that you can learn and you can grow and your magic will work for you. So I hope uh, you'll continue to join me on this channel. Um, I really wanted to do a lot this summer, but it was very hot and humid here. And so I didn't get, you know, beautiful nights like tonight where it's just a nice crisp chill in the air. Um, it was just a hot, humid summer. So I'm very excited for October. I'm excited for Samhain and I'm excited for November. And I have a lot of things to share with you about necromancy and just some more um, higher level uh, witch, witchy things that I think you'll enjoy. So I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't yet. 
and um, give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel. I haven't been around, so I appreciate any thumbs up. And I appreciate your views and coming to visit me. So take care, everyone, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.